So the first thing that you want to do is to take the charge out of it. What does this mean? It means removing any kind of exaggeration, overhype, or negative labeling around the event. Because oftentimes the thing that gets you the most isn't the event itself, it's how you label it and in turn feel about that event. Okay, something happens and then you label it as something negative and you feel bad about it. And then what happens, you feel bad about feeling bad. And then you feel bad about feeling bad about feeling bad and it just spirals out of control. Okay, that there you want to nip in the bud and the way to do so is to get really clear on what is adversity exactly. What is a life crisis exactly? Okay, you ask most people, they'll overblow it and say, oh, adversity, you know, I'm going through this life crisis and it's like the universe is against me, you know, the world, God, you name it, just put this obstacle in my way and for some reason they chose to punish me and everything's just going just downhill and it's just terrible and I don't know what I did to deserve this and why is it so hard and why can't things be easy and just go according to plan, so on and so forth, okay, that there. No, 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 no. Let's take the charge out of it. What is adversity? If you objectively look at it, it's simply when life doesn't go according to your plan. That's it. You have a plan of how you want your life to go. This is where I am. This is where I want to go. And adversity is simply an obstacle that may come in temporarily or permanently and say, nope, you're not going in that direction. That's it. That's all that adversity is. And then we create all the stories on top of that and oh, why, why am I being punished, so on and so forth, when in reality, that's it. It's simply, hey, I had a plan, something happened, now I can't go down that route, okay? Now what this also means is adversity in and of itself isn't bad. It's just when something doesn't go according to your plan, not life's plan, not the universe's plan, your subjective plan. Okay, what is adverse to one person might actually be something amazing for another person and vice versa. Okay, so this here, really seeing it for what it is, takes the charge out of it and it leads you to also asking yourself, and this is crucial, how do you know that this event is bad? How do you know? Do you really know? No, you know right now from your you know, subjective point of view, like that's where I wanted to go, why is this happening? But in the larger scheme of things, how do you know that this event is bad? What really defines a bad event? Okay, if you reflect back on your life and you hear these stories left and right, right? People who might, for example, get fired or a relationship ends. And at the time they're like, this is so bad, adversity. I wanted my job to go this way and something happened and now I'm fired. I wanted my relationship to go this way and something happened and now I'm single. Why, 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 why? Okay, in the moment they believe it's bad, right? Their subjective point of view. Yet you fast forward a year or two, you ask that same person and they'll tell you, oh, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, if I were to have stayed in that original job, I would have been way less well off than I am now. You know, that job actually being fired led me to find an amazing, even better job that I'm passionate about. Or that breakup, although in the moment I thought was the worst thing ever, actually led me to this new relationship, which is much healthier that I never would have gone into if it weren't for that breakup. Okay, so in the larger scheme of things, those people who thought at first this is bad, turns out it wasn't. Okay, how do you know? And really reflect on how little you know, right? We think we know everything. Like, are you the universe? Are you God? Are you life that knows life's plan? No, you don't know all that. So stop pretending to be. I know what's best for me and the world. No, you don't. Reflect on how ignorant you really are and ask yourself, well, how do I know this is bad and could it perhaps be good? And if it is good, how could it be good? Okay, there might be a lot of resistance hearing this, but this is absolutely crucial. This thing that oh, I can't believe this is happening. If I were to shift perspectives here, is there a way of viewing this as a blessing? Okay, I'm sure you've heard the term a blessing in disguise. If you want to receive the blessing, you must first let it come to you in disguise. And this adverse situation, this life crisis, can you perhaps try to see past the disguise and see the blessing for what it is? Okay, for example, it could create an opening for something new, right? You might be, if we take that job or breakup example, in a rut going through the motions and the adverse situation getting fired is actually what forced you to go for that dream job. 
or you might have been in a relationship where you're settling, it might be toxic to a certain extent, and then you break up and you're like, why? And that led you, it created the opening for a healthier relationship. So if things seem to be falling apart here, okay, on one hand it's falling apart, but whenever something falls apart, there is an opening for something new, right? Even when it comes to transformation, there is such a thing as the breakdown phase of a transformation. It's not just beautiful and peachy the entire way through, things have to also break and fall apart. That's your comfort zone, breaking and falling apart. If things are peachy, that's just you maintaining your comfort zone. Okay, so what is perhaps the hidden gift? And this also means, even zooming out more, really believing and having faith that life is on your side. Because what is the whole perspective of, why is this happening to me? Adversity, life crisis, Ugh, you know, if things could just go according to my plan, it's you not trusting life. Otherwise, you would trust that, hey, this is probably for the best. I might not be able to see it now, but I'm just going to trust, okay? Because guess what? You know what else would be considered adversity or life crisis? You as a child, when your parents tell you to eat your vegetables, right? That, from a child's perspective, is adversity. It's, no, I don't want the vegetables. I want, you know, whatever it is that you want. And your parents are like, no, 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 you've had enough of that. It, it's time for you to eat your vegetables. It's healthy, it's good for you. You'll thank me later. No, and we freak out, yet in the long run we look back, hey, thank you for making me eat my vegetables. Same here. Perhaps this is your version of, I don't wanna eat the vegetables and just resisting it and feeling bad about it and feeling bad and feeling bad. No, zoom out. What if this adverse situation is your vegetables? What if there are hidden benefits? Could you perhaps consider that and just by considering it, just by zooming out and once more trusting that life has your best interests at hand, now your focus, your RAS, your reticular activating system, is engaged to start looking for those benefits. Okay, so once more, what is adversity? This is the first thing you want to do is take the charge out of it. It's simply when things don't go according to my plan. It's not necessarily bad. It's not against the universe's plan. It's just my little plan that I had for myself. And perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. Perhaps this is life's guiding hand, guiding me to something better, guiding me to a better path that I didn't even see, yet I don't know it yet. And could I ask myself, how could this be good? How could there be benefits? And could I remain open to see that new path?